where everybody gets quiet all of a sudden. Welcome. I'd like to welcome you this evening's uh, council meeting for the Mesa City Council for Monday, November 18th, 2013. I'm Mason Mayor Scott Smith, and as always, it's an honor and privilege for me to conduct this meeting. We'll begin tonight's meeting with an invocation by Pastor David Land of the New Life Assembly of God. And we'll uh, then be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by Ryan Gurr, who is a member of the Mayor's Youth Committee and also a scout, right? So we still have a scout, even though he's in Mesa. He's in Mayor's Youth Committee uniform, not in scout uniform. So please rise for the invocation and the pledge. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to be able to call upon your name this evening. And in a time when it seems like that so many of our cities and communities are doing away with prayer, I am thankful that the city of Mesa still believes in opening business with prayer. So I pray, Lord, for our city, your blessings upon it, and I pray for our mayor and our city council people, that you would just guide them, granting them direction and wisdom, that everything that is done will be done for the glory of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. We'll now proceed with the welcome. Welcome to the Mesa City Council meeting. Thank you for your interest in the city of Mesa. At this time, please turn off or select the vibrate option on all cell phones while the meeting is in progress. If you would like to speak on any items, please fill out the blue cards located in the back of the room and give it to the city clerk. We ask you to limit your comments to three minutes. You can also ask for an item to be removed from the consent agenda. Items on the consent agenda are read into the record and voted on in one motion. At the end of tonight's meeting, under items from citizens present, there will be an opportunity for three citizens to speak on any issue, with a maximum of three minutes each. The council cannot respond to your comments. When the mayor calls your name, please step up to the podium, state your name and address, and make your comments. The city of Mesa operates under a council district system with the mayor elected at large. The mayor of Mesa is Scott Smith, serving his second term. There are six districts in Mesa, and here are your elected council members. In District 1, Dave Richens represents Northwest Mesa. In District 2, Vice Mayor Alex Finter represents Central and South Central Mesa. In District 3, Dennis Cavanaugh represents Southwest Mesa and the area south of downtown. In District 4, Christopher Glover represents Downtown Mesa. In District 5, David Luna represents Northeast Mesa. And in District 6, Scott Summers represents Southeast Mesa. Information about your council member and the City of Mesa is available online at mesaaz.gov. All city council meetings are broadcast live and then rebroadcast on Mesa Channel 11 and on mesachannel11.com. Thank you. One of the great privileges I have as mayor is to uh, work with a, uh, a group of youth from uh, uh, nearly all the high schools, uh, both public, uh, regular public, charter public, and even private around our community uh, in what's called the Mayor's Youth Committee. And we have members of the Mayor's Youth Committee here uh, uh, this evening. Uh, these are the best of the best. They are, uh, they are recommended by guidance counselors and, and uh, leaders at the, at the staff at the school. Uh, and they go through a nine-month program uh, where they get together and learn about the city and do all sorts of fun things and uh, do service and everything. Uh, tonight, to tell us a little bit more about the uh, Youth Committee and to introduce members, or whatever you're going to do, is the president of this year's youth committee, Jayla Lan Yan. Did I get it close? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even after that practice, you told me three times. That's okay. It's all right. Trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> Trial and error. More error than anything, right? It's all in good faith. Well, Miss Yan, why don't see? I just noticed I skipped the first name. Why don't you go ahead and take over and uh, and, and and you can see from her attitude uh, the the spunkiness and the and the things we have. We love it. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor. 
Good evening. My name is Jalia Yan, and I am the president of the 2013-2014 Mayor's Youth Committee. Allow me to introduce ourselves. The Mayor's Youth Committee is an elite group of seniors and juniors from high schools around Mesa. Each year, school principals and counselors carefully select students to represent their schools on this committee. The MYC is a comprehensive year-long program where representatives attend meetings, participate in public service, and learn about the functionings of city functions and issues. This year, the MYC is proud to announce that we are undertaking the mayor's assignment, where MYC groups will, um, well, the MYC will split into groups which will research a given topic, which will be then discussed on televised a youth summit broadcast on Mesa Channel 11. And now, I am honored to introduce the 2013-2014 MYC members. Please stand while I say your name. Let me get the list out. <laughs> right? Devin Beckwith. Naomi Chan. Amanda Coria. Luis Angel Coronado Jaimes. Ariel Degadio. Ryan Gurr. Eric Hirschberg, Coldy Holt, Joshua Gerard Joseph, Grant Laufer, Tori Luttermoser, Gregory Williams, I'm sorry, Mick Williams, Ashley O'Crowley, Jacob Ormiston, Rajan Patel, Madeline Williams, Terry Wen, Avery Underwood, Abe Torres, Joshua St. Germain, Simul Shaw, Alyssa Santos, Juan Sanchez, Brenda Roca, Erica Preblick, Brittany Marie Poserino, Alex Petty, and last but certainly not least, Sterling Pendleton. The Mayor's Youth Committee is honored to be here tonight. I kept waiting for her to mispronounce one of those names and she <laughs> didn't do it. <laughs> All right, Jalia. See, I did it right that time, right? I forgot the Leah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, thank you. Great. Well, thank you for being here, and thank you for serving, and thank you for being uh, honoring us with your presence. We really do, we really do appreciate it, and thank you for allowing me to get to know you and to work with you. And and I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, point out that uh, the youth committee uh, uh, primary um, sponsor, staff members, my chief of staff, Ms. Kathy McDonald. Kathy, you need to stand or wave your hand or whatever. And. Kathy works with uh, Melissa Rondasso and Misty Wells in, in uh, my office to, uh, to carry out a, a pretty rigorous program over the school year. So thank you to Kathy for all the great work you do. All right, the next item on the agenda is the consent agenda, which will be read into record by Kevin Christopher. Kevin? Good evening. All citizens are permitted and encouraged to speak on agenda items. If you're interested in speaking, please fill out a blue card in the back of the room and give it to the city clerk. When the council considers the item, you'll be called to the podium to provide your comments. Mayor and council members, these are the items in the consent agenda. All items listed with an asterisk will be considered as a group by the city council and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless a council member or citizen request, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered as a separate item. If a citizen wants an item removed, a blue card must be completed and given to the city clerk prior to the council's vote on the consent agenda. Item 2, approval of minutes of previous meetings as written. Item 3A, act on liquor license application for Downtown Mesa Association, one day charitable event on Friday, December 6th on Main Street from Center Street to Robeson. Item 3B, act on liquor license application for Fountain of the Sun Community Association, one day civic event, Saturday, November 23rd, 560 South 80th Street. Item 3C, act on liquor license application for Ultimate Imaginations Incorporated, one day charitable event, Friday, January 3rd on Main Street from Center Street to Robeson. 
Item 3D, Act on Liquor License Application for Ultimate Imaginations Incorporated, one day charitable event Friday, February 7th on Main Street from Center Street to Robeson. Item 3E, Act on Liquor License Application for Ultimate Imaginations Incorporated, one day charitable event Friday, March 7th on Main Street from Center Street to Robeson. Item 3F, Act on Liquor License Application for Antipastos, 1859 West Guadalupe Road. Staff's recommendation is for approval. Item 3G, Act on Liquor License Application for Roadhouse Cafe, Double Deuce, 7000 East Main Street. Staff's recommendation is for approval. Item 4A, Act on Dollar Limit Increase for the Term Contract for the Structure Leather Boot Program as requested by the Fire and Medical Services Department. Item 4B, Act on Dollar, dollar Limit Increase to the Term Contract for 12 lead heart monitors, defibrillators, supplies, and services as requested by the Fire and Medical Services Department. Item 4C, Act on Three-Year Term Contract for Street Sweeper Brooms for the Fleet Services Department. Item 4D, Act on One-Year Renewal of the Term Contract for Pad-Mounted Three-Phase Switch Gear for the Materials and Supply Warehouse. Item 4E, Act on Contract to Purchase an Upgrade to the Automatic Call Distribution and Interactive Voice Response for the Information Technology Department. Item 4F, Act on Contract to Purchase two Replacement Sport Utility Vehicles for the Police Department. This purchase is funded by the Vehicle Replacement Fund. Item 4G, Act on Term Contract for Services for Solid Waste Disposal, Recyclable Material Processing, and Green Waste Processing for the Solid Waste Management Department. Item 4H, Act on Contract to Purchase new Field Maintenance Equipment for Riverview Park. This purchase is funded by the Enterprise Fund Cub Spring Training Facility. Item 4I, Act on Contract for the West Mesa Sports Complex. This project is funded by the 2012 Park Bond Funds. Item 4J, Act on Contract to Purchase a Cloud-Based Customer Relationship Management and Box Office Ticketing System for the Mesa Arts Center. Item 4K, Act on Contract for Val Vista Transmission Main Project. Phase 1 Construction, Guaranteed Maximum Price Number 2. This project is funded by the voter-approved 2010 Water Bond Fund. Item 4L, Act on Contract for the Mesa Junior High Community Conversion. This project is funded by the 2012 Park Bond Funds. Item 4M, Act on Job Order Master Contracts for Water and Wastewater Construction Services. Item 4N, Act on Contract authorizing the Mayor to sign an amended employment contract with the City Manager. Item 5A, Act on Resolution authorizing the City Manager to accept funding made available through a sub-grantee agreement with the Arizona Department of Homeland Security for the Mesa Police Department for cop link maintenance fees. Item 5B, Act on Resolution authorizing the City Manager to enter into a lease agreement with the Barry and Peggy Goldwater Library and Archives, an Arizona nonprofit corporation for property located at the southeast corner of McDonald Street and First Avenue. Item 5C, Act on Resolution approving the assessment diagram for the Elliott Road Improvements Street Assessment Project. Item 5D, Act on Resolution fixing the hearing date to December 9, 2013 on the final assessments for the Elliott Road Improvements Street, Street Assessment Project. Item 5E, Act on Resolution authorizing the City Manager to execute all necessary documents to effectuate the conveyance of the property known as the former Air Force Research Lab from the United States Air Force to the City of Mesa. Item 5F, Act on Resolution authorizing the City Manager to execute the Second Amendment to the Mesa Proving Grounds Pre-Annexation and Development Agreement with DMB Mesa Proving Grounds LLC to resolve City obligations related to impact fee credits and to extend performance dates for accelerated infrastructure projects related to future hospitality and convention center developments. Item 6A, Introduction of Ordinance amending various sections of the Mesa City Code, Title IX, Public Ways and Property, Chapter 13, Foreign Trade Zone, to update Title IX, Chapter 13, and to make changes to conform to federal law and providing penalties for violations of the ordinance. Item 7A, Act on Ordinance regarding Z13-050, 3831 and 3841 East Main Street, located east of Alvista Drive on the south side of Main Street, rezone and site plan review to allow for expansion of an existing general commercial use. Item 7B, Act on Ordinance regarding Z13-052, 6560 South Mountain Road, located north of Pecos, on the west side of Mountain Road, rezone and site plan review to allow the expansion of an existing industrial facility. Item 7C has been removed from the agenda. Item 8A, Act on Subdivision Platte Cordobella at Mountain Bridge, the 8700 to 8800 blocks of East McKellips Road, located north and west of East McKellips and North Ellsworth Road. And Item 8B, Act on Subdivision Platte Parcel 9 at Mountain Bridge, the 8700 to 8800 blocks of East McKellips Road, located north and west of East McKellips Road and North Ellsworth Road. Mayor and Council Members, these are the items on the consent agenda. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, there is one item that uh, uh, got that is also included on the uh, consent agenda. It's item 5G, canvassing, declaring, and adopting the results of the special bond election held on November 5th, 2013. Okay. 
Is there any item? Thank you. Is there any item a member of the council would like to remove from the consent agenda? Is there any request from the public to remove an item from the consent agenda? No request, Mayor. All right, we have a motion to approve the consent agenda from Councilmember Kavanaugh, second Councilmember Glover. Is there any discussion? Please vote. Vote is 7 0 in the affirmative. The consent agenda is approved. The next item is on the agenda is item 9 conduct a public hearing prior to the release of the petition for signature for the following proposed annexation. A13-04, annex in District 5, annexing land north of Adobe Road and west of Signal B Road, 40 plus or minus acres, initiated by the property owner. Is there any, uh, uh, I declare this public hearing open. Are there any uh, questions or comments from the council? Any requests to speak from the public? No request, Mayor. There being none, declare the public hearing closed. Are there any requests to speak from the public? No requests. Okay. There being none, I have a motion uh, from Council Member Summers, a second from Council Member Richens to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you very much.